Hello, this is Jacqueline from Jack Knits, and it is early September here in Michigan, which means that temperatures will begin to drop, and I better get started on knitting some winter garments. In today's video, we're going to show complete instructions on how to knit this very basic beanie hat, an adult size, with worsted weight yarn, and we're gonna do it with knitting in the round. So let's get started by getting these on our needles before the temperature gets too cold outside. Hello, this is Jack Knits, and today we're going to look at knitting instructions on how to knit a very basic beanie hat for an adult with worsted weight yarn. We are going to do this with knitting in the round with circular needles, and that way there are no seams to seam up at the end, so it's a very quick knit. So once you know the very basic foundation of knitting a hat, you should be able to follow all type of knitting hat patterns with ease. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to, to we're gonna cast on, how to join in the round, knitting the brim, the uh, body of the hat, and the decreases on top as well. So let's start by looking at the materials that you're gonna to need to do to knit this hat. First of all, the needles that we're gonna use are circular needles, as mentioned. We wanna use a small 16 length, 16 inch length needle. And I'm gonna start the hat for the brim with a size six US needle. Then after I work the brim, I will switch to a little bit larger needle, a size eight. And that uh, just creates a nice fit for the brim of the hat as well. You will also need a stitch marker to mark the beginning of each round, scissors and darning needle for the end to weave in. And then also when you get towards the top of knitting in the round with circular needles and you get too few stitches when you start decreasing the number of stitches, you need to switch to double pointed needles. So I also will need US size eight double pointed needles to finish those last few rounds of the hat on top. And the yarn that we're going to be using is just a worsted basic uh, yarn I picked up at um, Joann's, I believe, a Lion brand yarn. It's a worsted weight, size 4. So now that we have all our materials needed, let's get started by casting on the correct number of stitches onto our rounded needle. Now if you need a review on how to do the long tail cast on, please refer to my video in the description below that shows has a complete video all about casting on with the long tail method. Um, so I'm gonna start by casting on 96 stitches. So let's do that. I will come back after I've casted on those stitches and then we can get started with the brim of the hat. Now that we have casted the appropriate number of stitches onto our round needle, we are ready to be able to join the stitches together to work the stitches in the round for the brim of our hat. But before you do that, you wanna make sure that our stitches are not twisted on the needle. So lay your uh, needle down on a, on a surface and check to see once that this cast on ridge is pointing towards the center of your needle. So you wanna just make sure that all the stitches are not twisted around your needle, but that the ridge here from your cast on is all pointing towards the center. So now that's all pointed to the center, I don't have any twisted stitches, I'm ready to join the stitches in the round. And then we're going to begin working a ribbing stitch one by one, knitting one, then purling one, knitting one, purling one, all around for several rounds. First, let's join, put on a stitch marker here, so that will always indicate the start of a new round. So let's begin by making sure that the working yarn from your ball is coming out of the right side of your round needle. And we are going to just now stitch or knit the very first stitch on your left side of the needle. So we're gonna knit that stitch, and when you do that, kind of give it a nice gentle tug so it tugs nicely up to your stitch marker on your right side of your needle. That way there won't be any gaps um, in the round uh, when you join them. The next stitch, stitch number two, will be a purl stitch, so we'll purl that stitch. And again, give it a nice little gentle tug so it's snug up against that other needle. Then we're gonna begin doing that stitch sequence by knitting one, then purling one, and we're going to do that continually around this round and for several rounds for the brim of the hat. So as soon as I complete a few inches of the brim, I will come back and we will 
then proceed to the body of the hat. Okay, I am just finishing now up my one by one ribbing that I did for the brim of my hat, where I knitted one and purled one for several rounds. And I have done about two inches here, and I think that's about a good uh, length for the brim. Now you can make it a little bit longer or shorter, just based on your preference. So this is about two inches, and I think that's a good length. Now you can also, if you want to have a folded over brim, just make this section about twice as long. That will give you enough length to do a nice folded br uh, brim. But we're just gonna leave it single like this and uh, continue on now with the body of the hat. So now that we are done with our ribbing, we can switch now to stocking that stitch for the rest of the of the hat. And stocking that stitch when you knit in the round is just knitting every stitch for every single round. And that's because the knitted side of the fabric is always facing you, so that's how you can incorporate uh, the stocking that stitch by knitting every round. But first we we're going to want to switch to a larger needle. So you can switch to a larger needle one of two ways. Let me remove this stitch marker so it doesn't fall off when we do this. You can either just take your larger needle and transfer your stitches one by one to the new needle if you'd like. That's one way to do it, so this is an extra step. But you can also then, I'll just put them back on my old needle here, you can just now take this new needle and, and knit your next round with this new needle off of the old needle. So that's what I'll do to do this. And again, we're gonna just now be knitting every uh, stitch instead of knit purl. So let's just now with our new needle start knitting this next round. And we'll do that all the way around until all of our stitches are transferred over to our new larger needle. So I'll see you at the end of this round. I have now transferred all of the stitches onto my new larger needle and I've actually knitted a couple rounds of the stocking net stitch. So you can see now that it's switched over from the ribbing to the stocking net and I've done three rounds here. So you can now continue to do stocking net stitch for the remainder of the body of the hat before we start the decreases. But here you can do something a little bit fun if you like. Um, you know, maybe add some different colors into your hat, a couple different stripes. So what I thought would be fun to do is take this alternating color, this, and you want to make sure that you're using the same weight yarn as the rest of your hat, um, but a different color. And I'm gonna just incorporate a couple little skinny stripes in here just to make it fun. So what at the beginning of the round, you can add a new color, and what I do um, is I just simply kind of wrap the new, the new yarn around my pinky to kind of give it a little um, tension and a little stability. And then I can start just simply by knitting the new color. So my next round, I'm gonna knit with this now off-white color. Now you don't have to cut the original yarn because after a couple rows of this white, I'm gonna switch back to my brown here. So I'll just leave it there and it'll be ready for us when we come back after a few rounds to knit uh, with the brown. So let's knit just a few rows just so we can get a couple fun stripes in here. Then we'll go back to the brown. We'll knit a few more rows with the off-white and then we'll go back to the brown for the rest of the hat. So I'll see you after I do a few stripes and see what it looks like at that point. All right, I've knitted a couple different color stripes here to make it a little bit interesting. So I knitted three rows of the off-white, then I went back to the brown and then knitted three, mores of the off, three more rows of the off-white, and now I will continue with the brown for the remainder of the body of the hat. So as I mentioned earlier, to, to change colors, I just simply just started knitting with that second color, keeping that original color intact so I can pick up that yarn when I switch back to the other color. So here's kind of how I did that. You'll see on the back of my knitting that the other color is just simply brought up and then I just tucked it under in the back. So now that I'm done with my last stripe of the cream or the off-white, I am going to now switch back to my brown and then again I'm going to just make sure that that old color is tucked under my new one as I continue to knit with the brown. So I'm going to make sure it's tucked under just like that and now I'm going to just continue knitting brown for the remainder of the body of the hat. And I will knit for a few more inches and then we'll get back together and start decreasing the stitches for the crown of the hat. I have completed stocking net stitches now for about a total of seven inches from my cast on. So once you get to about seven inches, then we can start doing the decrease rounds for the crown of the hat. 
But first we're going to uh, do a little setup row and place some additional stitch markers um, every so many stitches to tell us where we're going to do the knit two together, which is going to be the decrease stitch. We're going to do every 12 stitches. So let's um, let's set up our do our setup row, and I start with my green stitch marker. And you notice that my additional stitch markers are a different color, and that's how I'm going to distinguish that the green one is the beginning of the round, and the purple ones are just the dividing um, stitch markers between the sections. So let's. Um, for our setup row, we're going to knit 12 stitches, uh, place uh, stitch markers every 12 stitches. So let's knit 12 stitches here, one, two, three. And let's put a stitch marker there. And let's do that again. And we will do that all the way around to the end of the row, placing a stitch marker every 12 stitches. Okay, so now I'm nearing the end of that round, that setup round where I have placed my marker every 12 stitches. So I've got eight sections total with 12 stitches in each section. So now I'm gonna do my first decrease row. And my decrease row is gonna consist of a knit two together after every marker, and then knit to the next marker, then knit two together, knit to the next marker. So that will be our decrease row. And so let's uh, do that after our start of our round, the first two stitches are going to be a knit two together. So let's just take both stitches together, knit them together. Instead of one stitch, you're knitting two together. That is a one stitch decrease. And now I'm just going to knit to my next marker. And when I get to the next marker, I'm going to slip that marker to the next needle and then start my next section with another knit two together. So knit these first two stitches together, slip marker again, knit two together, and knit to the marker. And we'll do that all the way around to the very end until we get to our green marker, which is the start of our next round. All right, now that we've done with that decrease round, Round two of our decrease section is just going to be a plain knit all the way around. So we're not going to do any decreases on this round. Just slip the markers as they come. We'll do a decrease on the next round. So let's do a one row of knit only, no decreases. All right, I've completed now another a round of just plain knitting. That was round two. So round three, I'm going to do another decrease round where again, I'm going to, um, after each stitch marker, knit two together and then knit again to that end, uh, to the stitch marker. So we will continue in this little two row sequence. And we're gonna do that until we've got um, too few stitches to comfortably fit on our round needle. And then we're gonna switch to our double pointed needles. And so I will um, do a few rows here till I get to that point. And then I'll show you how we can switch to the double pointed needles and finish the decreasing rounds. All right, I have now uh, knitted a couple rounds where I have decreased one row, then the next row I have knitted the uh, entire row and then did a decrease, etc. And now I'm getting to the point where the number of stitches on my round needle is, is getting a little too few to comfortably work in the round on my circular needles. So at this point, I'm gonna transfer them to double pointed needles. Now the other thing I'm gonna do at this point as well is instead of decreasing stitches every other round, I'm gonna start doing my decreased stitches uh, rounds every round of my uh, knitting. So that way my hat will kind of close up quicker and I won't have such a pointy uh, top of a hat, more of a flat uh, top of the hat. So that's what I'm gonna do. So first let's transfer these stitches over to my double pointed needles. What I like to do um, is just simply start knitting with the uh, double pointed needles. So let's do that and we'll just uh, slip the markers as we go. We'll try to get 16 stitches on each of my three double pointed needles and then we'll have the one to, to work the stitches with. Um, and we, again, um, as you recall, we're going to now decrease every row. So that means the very first two stitches after my marker is going to be a knit two together. So let's start with that with my first double pointed needle. We're going to knit to the marker. Slip this marker over and now we'll do another decrease stitch, knit two together. And knit to the marker again. Mm -hmm. 
let's switch to another needle. So pick up a second needle and now we'll move stitches over to this one. So now we're at the end of our round and we no longer need this circular needle. So now our stitches are comfortably on three double pointed needles and I will continue to work my rounds with double pointed needles. Now if you have are unfamiliar with, work, with knitting with double pointed needles, I do have a full video all about how to knit with double pointed needles and it's not that difficult but if you are unfamiliar with it you might want to check that video out and I'll have a descript, uh, link to that video up in the right hand corner. You can check that out. Uh, to feel comfortably working with that for the next several rounds. But now I'm going to continue to knit for a few more rounds, doing my decrease round every round. So after every marker, knitting two together. And we will continue to do that with double pointed needles until I have just a few stitches left and then we'll pull them together tight um, with a darning needle and we'll be finished with the hat. So I will come back and check with you after we have the last few decreasing rounds uh, done. All right, at this point I have uh, just two stitches left between each of my markers. So I'm gonna do my last round of knitting by knitting those two stitches together um, in between the markers. So I just have one stitch for each section uh, remaining. Okay, so now I just have three, six, eight stitches left. And what you wanna do when you just have the few stitches left on your needle is that we're going to take our darning needle and weave in the yarn through those last few stitches, pull it tight, stick it through the hole of the hat, and weave in the end. So let's, we just want a little cut off, oh, about 12 inches of yarn or so. Take your darning needle, thread it, now we will just uh, or just thread those stitches with the, the darning needle and remove the needle as you go. And then you can just pull that tight so you got close that little gap. And now I'm going to take my needle, poke it through that center there. Flip it around to the inside of the hat. What I like to do is I like to just kind of go through, you see that last little round of, of gathered stitches there? I like to take my needle and just kind of go through it one more time just to kind of secure that, that gap a little bit tighter. Now I can weave in this end. Snip off the end. Now, just to finish it up, I'm going to uh, weave in these ends. Remember when we changed colors here? And we'll probably have one more end, and that would be our tail from our cast on. Final snip. Now let's take a look at what we've got. And there you have it, a real basic beanie hat, perfect for an adult size. And then and you can be creative obviously with this with this body of the hat. You can do it all in one color, you can add additional stripes. So I hope this is helpful for to you. Um, if so, please like and don't forget to subscribe to receive notifications of future videos all about knitting tips and stitches and creative patterns. So thanks for watching, happy knitting everyone.